January 4th. Still got green grass. It's trying to snow. It just can't. Hanging out here in the shop. And I uh, had a viewer. Well, he's one of my idea guys, Jeremy Brim. He mostly has bad ideas, but uh, he had a pretty good idea. He wanted to uh, do a video on the sled storage and uh, the elevator. So uh, maybe we'll work on that today. Go over to Angles Brothers and see if they'll show us how to do that. Okay, we're back at the sled shop. We're going to have the guys explain to us how they uh, store the sleds and get them up and down from uh, where they store them. All right, well, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the setup you guys got here? Yeah, sure. What we got here is uh, basically we have an old, uh, basically just an old cow barn. And uh, we always struggled with uh, Letty's nice set of stairs, but we have just all this big room up here. Now we now store sleds in here, of course. And some other stuff, some tires, snowblower, or a leaf blower, bikes. I got this other little level here for basically just a junk that used to lay on the floor up here. But the big thing was how to get a, this machines from this level to that level or from that level to this level. So what we did, we thought, well, we need an elevator. How can we build an elevator? Well, that's too tough. I don't know how to do that. We're not smart enough. So we ended up calling Bud up to own equipment. See if he had old forklift mast. So he hooked us up with this uh, <clears throat> heister for, for forklift mast. And we just mounted it in the building here. This hole was already basically here. Except for this little jut out here. That we did. And we made a little platform. Still using the old forks. They're in there now. Made a little platform. And threw some tongue and groove wood on there. And. Simple hydraulics, just one line to uh, to feed it. Ran that out here and hooked that up to our remote on our tractor. Voila! You got an elevator. You got one on. We'll bring down. Pretty much. Got it from there, or from there, to there. It's a pretty neat setup. 300 bucks, probably 200 bucks to build a platform. Holes we had laying around, tractor we already had. Freed up a bunch of space. Put them up there in the summertime. We got all this other room down here. Pretty sweet. Next time we run it up, we'll, sh we'll show you how we run it up. What you do when you have to bring one down, you got to put a stop in here because it's working fast. It's pretty. Got to put a little prop in there. That's kind of hunky, but you got to do it. Come on up here. Get your slide picked out. Just roll it on.
kick out the OSHA approved safety prop. Get that out of the way. <clears throat> you bring down your next machine. Now you're at ground level. Fun wow, let's go get another one. So that's basically it. Pretty simple. Can't say too much about it. But it opens up a lot of storage space, that's for sure. We'll set her back up. Oh, we already see it go up. Okay. I guess that's all you can say about that. So. Why don't you guys get the hell out of here and leave us alone? We got other shit to do. They're starting to den up. Just waiting for some snow. Be quiet. <laughs>